finally, I'm making a video on this topic, which has been the most requested topic for me to teach on this channel, time signatures. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a short but well illustrated and explanatory course on understanding the concept of time signatures. Now, time signature are the two numbers you see at the beginning of a line of music depicting the number of beats in a bar and the note value of those beats. So time signatures are written like this. We have 3, 4, 4, 4, 5, 4, and a lot of others. But now, because time signatures are written like fractions, we refer to them as having numerators and denominators. Now, the numerator most times refers to the number of beats in a bar, while the denominator tells us the note value of those beats in that bar. And most times, the denominator ranges from, you know, quarter note, eighth note, sixteenth note, third second note. You get. So now I'll be illustrating these things on the drum so you can understand very well. And I'm going to be starting from the most popular one, which most drummers play every time. You get it's the most popular one. It's called the 4 4 or common time. You get it. it's called common time, 4 4, anyone, still the same thing. Just so you understand time signature properly, I advise you learn something called note value. And I'm going to be teaching you guys that right now. It's going to help you understand time signature properly. Now, in note value, we have things like whole note, we have half note, we have quarter note, we have eighth note, we have sixteenth note, we have thirty second note, sixty fourth note. So I'm going to explain all these things. You might if you understand this, just keep this part of the video to starting the time signature you get. But if you don't understand it, I would advise you stick around. So to understand note value properly, I would set my metronome to eighty BPM. You need a metronome to understand this thing properly. So set it to eighty BPM. Now we have this one, one two, two, three, three four. four. One, so not to waste two, your time, three, this is four, whole notes. One, if you want to count two, whole notes, it sounds three, like this. Four, one, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, one, four, two, half notes three, is now four, one, two, two three, four, three, one, two, four, three, four, one, two, three, four, three, one, two. Three, four. Quarter four, note is now one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Eight notes. One, two, three, four, five, four, six, seven, four, eight. One, two, three, four, five, three, six, seven, four, eight. One. Do you get two? So sixteenth notes. Four. One, two, three, four. Two, one, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. I'm counting two, it four four because three, we can't mention four, those numbers one, after two, you know once you pass three, seven, it's hard four, to mention those numbers. You get. Two, so we count three, four four times. Four, one, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four, three, one, two, three, four, four, one, two, three, four. One, two. Now to three, get that the second note, four, you just make one, it per each two, one eight. So we just have eight eight notes per each of the count. So now going back to four four that we were talking about earlier before we branch into note value. In four four now, what does it mean? It means we have four beats in a bar. That's what the numerator tells us. Now the denominator tells us that the value, the note value of those four beats are quarter notes. 4 over 4. 4 stands for quarter, 8 stands for 8, you know, just like that, it progresses. So now, to play a 4-4 four, four groove, I can just turn on my metronome once again. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's a 4-4 four, four groove, come on time. I'm not going to spend much time, most of you already understand this. Now, some of you might ask, why am I playing 8 notes on the hi-hat? The notes you choose to play on your hi-hat or your right cymbal does not affect the time signature. I just borrowed 8 notes to play on my hi-hat, but the main time signature is still 4-4. Four, four. We can't call it 4-8 because I started playing 8 notes. Do you get? So next on the list, we have 3-4. Of which you know people mistake six eight for three four three four for six eight why because they are very similar if you divide six eight you get three four and all those you know there's so many um theories backing up this stuff but i'm going to explain the difference between the two of them for you today now explaining three four using our same principle the definition of time signatures the numerator which is three stands for the number of bits in a bar we have three bits in a bar what is the value of those three bits over four quarter notes so we have three quarter notes in a bar. So I know these terminologies might be hard to understand, but when I play them on the drum, you understand it better. So I'll set my metronome to 70 BPM and set it to the three, four time signature. One, one two, two, three, one, one, two. Are you getting it now? So in a bar, we have three notes, three beats. The note value of each beat is quarter notes. 
So let me play it for you. You hear how it sounds. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So what I just played now is three, four. Do you get? So three quarter notes in a bar. That's what I just did now. Do you get? But I played it very slow so you can understand it. Now I'll move on to play three, eight. When I play 3-8, you understand what happens whenever the denominator changes. Now, don't forget, the value of one quarter note is equals to two eighth notes. The value of two quarter notes is equals to four eighth notes. You get the value of three quarter notes is equals to six eighth notes. So now, that's going to explain when we are having from, to move from 3-4 to 3-8, we're going to now have six notes instead of the three we're playing. I'll explain now. So this is 3-4 again. One, two, three. One, two, three, 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 one. So you'll be wondering where is that six? Let me count it for you now. In quarter notes we have one, one two, two, three, three one, two, two three, three. But one, in three eight now two, we have three. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. So do you see the difference when the denominator changes? Just to illustrate it now at a fast tempo so you understand it better. Now this is the difference between three four and three eight. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Two, three, one, 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 two, three. So now for six eight, which most of you want to know the difference between six eight and three four most of the times. Now six eight means we have six eighth notes in a bar. You understand? We have six notes in a bar, but the note value of those six notes are eighth notes. So they are not quarter notes. They're going to be played faster. So now I'm going to show you guys the difference between 6-8 and 6-4 also. Now you can now relate the difference between the 6-8 I'm playing here and 3-4 that I played earlier. So you get the difference between all these time signatures that seem alike. You get. So this is 6-4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four, five, six, one, two, three, 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 four, five, six. So do you get the difference between the both of them there? One seems faster than the other, but the difference between the two of them is not speed. What makes one look faster is note value. The value of eighth notes and quarter notes are not the same thing. Eight notes are going to sound quicker. You get when you have six four, you have to play six eight two times to catch up with a six four groove. So six four is naturally slower. Whenever you have a groove where the denominator is four and the other one is eight, the one that is four is always seeming slower, but not slow because of tempo. It's slow because of the note value. So if this video has been helpful to you so far, I'll appreciate it if you could, you know, smash that like button and subscribe to this channel. It would mean a whole lot to me. Thank you. Let's progress with the lesson. So now, on to the next one we're going to be treating, which is 5-4 and 5-8. You get. Now, you already understand the principle. We have five quarter notes in a bar for 5-4. And for 5-8, we have five eighth notes in a bar for 5-8. Now, I'm going to play these two grooves and show you the differences between the both of them. So there was a time, there was a drumming performance with Tosi Aribi Salah, and he played a groove that sounded like this. It was a 5-4 groove. Here's how it sounded. <laughs> I'll use that groove to show you the difference between a 5 4 groove and a 5 8 groove. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, one, two, three. So now, the last one I just played is the five eight, and the first one is the five four. Now, the five eight groove, I had to play it twice for it to complete this bar. Do you get? But the five four groove, I played that same groove and it filled up the bar. Do you get what I was saying initially? So I played it faster for you to understand better. One, two, three, four, five. 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 One, two, three. So now onto the two next ones we are going to be dealing with. We have seven, eight, and seven, four. These ones are very similar to six, eight and six, four. So if you understood what I did in six, eight, and six, four, you're going to understand this one very easily. So the seven, four sounds like this at 100 BPM. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So now four, seven, eight, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six, seven. One, two, three. So I don't know if you're picking something here. The same thing I said in six four and six eight. One seems faster than the other. It's not about the speed. It's the note value that increased. Do you understand? So now I'll play it at the higher tempo so you understand better once more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, 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 three, four. So these are just the popular time signatures I covered in today's video. There are lots of other time signatures, but if you could understand the concept I used to explain these ones to you, every other one is going to be simple to you. So practice this stuff. A lot of you have asked for this video. So share it to a drummer that needs to understand time signatures. And check this very video out if you want to improve on your drumming further. See you in that video. Peace.